Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about careers in machine learning after graduation. Machine learning is something which is very popular tech these days. There are a wide range of applications in the area of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Be it security, be it healthcare, be it defense, be it automobile, self driving cars, be it robotics, everywhere. Machine learning is everywhere and machine learning is the future. If you don't know what machine learning is, it's all about predicting future based on what happened in the past able to tell everything based on the past data and this is the beauty of machine learning and of course machine learning is being widely used by almost every sector and every domain so yeah it is undoubtedly one of the highest paying skill and one of the future skill but if you want to get a career in machine learning there are various things that you need to know about and the first thing that many of the students have in their mind is can we get into machine learning as a fresher or can we directly get into machine learning after graduation without any experience? Yeah, in this video, I will cover all those things. First thing, do freshers really get into machine learning after graduation? Of course, yes. And of course, no as well. There, it was 50-50. If you try uh, getting into top companies, like there were companies like Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, like they're all a very, very well uh, equipped with machine learning projects. But it is difficult to enter into them because they seek some real time experience. But there were many startups out there who hire freshers for machine learning roles. But there is a lot of process involved in that, how to get into that and all. I will tell everything in this video, how to get into a company as a machine learning engineer. First thing, prerequisites. What are all the prerequisites that you need? You should be good at mathematics. You should be good at machine learning algorithms. You should be good at critical problem solving. Yeah, like if you ask me why I need mathematics, because machine learning is all about analyzing data. So you need to have good command over mathematics, mainly topics related to probability, statistics, linear algebra, because these are very important in uh, machine learning. Every, in every machine learning projects like some mathematics involved. So you need to be good at mathematics. Without mathematics knowledge, you cannot get into that. You cannot become successful in machine learning. So, so make sure you are good in mathematics. And the other thing, you should be good at all the a machine learning algorithms you need to know about them and you also need to be good at uh, critical problem solving like having a knowledge on data structures and algorithms in a single programming language would be fine and apart from that you need to have a good portfolio so that is very important uh, you can register in register an account in Kaggle and create a github account in Kaggle like there were many competitions which were regularly taking place participate in all those competitions try your luck so that you can build a portfolio it is easy to showcase to the recruiters that yet i am good in machine learning i, I participated in so and so uh, hackathons and uh, i can say machine learning competitions this is my expertise and even in the github like whatever you have learned in machine learning create a project on that create a project with every algorithm create multiple projects as many as possible because the more that you work the more knowledge that you will get and upload all those projects in github so so that you can directly share with recruiters and show that like your skill you are capable to uh, deal with machine learning projects this is very much important without projects you there is no way that you will get into a machine learning role thing is internships of course for other roles it is fine to uh, not have an internship but for machine learning roles it is important to have a machine learning internship so like if you if you build a portfolio if you learn things then ultimately you can directly go to sites like linkedin and such for machine learning interns then you'll find a lot of jobs a lot of internships and some will be paid and some will be free like apply for them and write to them that i'm good in so and so uh, this is my portfolio i have done so and so projects then if they really like your work you will be hired at least do one to two internships uh, it might be free or paid it doesn't matter but do that like again like internship is not about training if you pay something and learn something it is not an internship make sure you have some work there then only you will learn things and it, it is not just for job purpose it is at least for your understanding like if you work on a machine learning projects in a real time then ultimately there are more possibilities that you will become successful in machine learning once you are done with the internships and all like you once you're done with graduation you need to apply for jobs no one will I can say like no one will come to you and hire you. It, it is not like other roles like uh, companies will come for on campus or off campus drives and hire you. It is not how it works. You need to apply in LinkedIn and other portals like AngelList, Naukari, etc. Because there were many startups who will hire for machine learning roles. 
so if you are good with all those stuff that I have spoken earlier and if you already done internships then it is easy for you to get into that and sometimes the best possibility is like if you have already done an internship and if your performance is good like they will hide you for full time roles as well so it is important to do an internship and searching for jobs by your own these are all the things for a fresher but what like if you are already working in an it company and if you want to switch to machine learning roles you need to follow the same stuff again um, but you don't need to have an internship because you are experienced in it and if you know all these things and if you have built various machine learning projects and have a portfolio ready then you can directly apply to startups and uh, big chains and showcase that yeah you are good in machine learning you know all this stuff and because you already have some experience working in project environment then yeah there are more chances that you will become high but make sure you follow all the things that i have spoken in this video yeah this is a overview of how to get into machine learning after graduation i hope you find it insightful please like this video and share it in your network also if you are a new investor to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you